This nugget is on the human impact of climate change. To recap, carbon dioxide is a compound with one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. It is a greenhouse gas. It absorbs solar energy in the atmosphere as part of the greenhouse effect. As a result of the greenhouse effect, global warming occurs. Global warming is a gradual increase in the average global temperature. Carbon dioxide is released as a result of combustion reactions. These are chemical reactions that involve the burning of a fuel in the presence of oxygen. Energy is released to the surroundings as heat in this reaction. An example combustion reaction is methane plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide and water. In this case, the reactants are methane and oxygen. And the products of the reaction are carbon dioxide and water. The simple equation for this reaction is CH4 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. Remember, you want the same numbers of each atom type on each side of an equation. At the moment, this symbol equation is unbalanced. Now, there are the same number of carbons, hydrogens and oxygens on both sides of the equation. We call this balanced. The burning of fuels happens all around the world, whether it's in vehicles, air travel, or in industry. Increasingly, more and more carbon dioxide is being put into the atmosphere. This is a result of human impact. So what is this causing to happen? You may well have heard of global warming and climate change, but how are these related and should we be worried? Let's start by discussing why are today's levels of CO2 so concerning? Let's look at some data. This graph has on its y-axis the average temperature difference compared to today's temperature in degree C, and along the x-axis how many years ago. So zero on the far right is today, and then it's going back 800,000 years. This line shows the average temperature in comparison to today. You can see that over history it has gone down and up and down and up. At some points it has been colder than it is today, at other points it's been warmer. The Earth constantly changes naturally its temperature. Let's look at a slightly different graph. We'll analyse the same period of time but looking at the amount of carbon dioxide CO2 released instead. So along the x-axis the years will be the same. But now on the y-axis we have the number of CO2 particles per million particles in the atmosphere. As you can see, it also goes up and down over the years. So it has a similar pattern to temperature. Carbon dioxide amounts have gone up and down over history. But what's interesting is where we are today. Modern humans have increasingly emitted more and more carbon dioxide as a part of industry. Today, we are at a level that is higher than has been seen in the past. So what does this mean? The interesting and scary comparison between these two sets of data come when you place these graphs side by side. You can see that increases in CO2 amount are associated with increases in global temperatures. Similarly, decreases in the amount of CO2 is associated with a decrease in the average global temperatures. Today's levels of CO2 are so concerning, as the current level of CO2 in the atmosphere is so high. It has never been this high in the time significant life has been on the planet. If the pattern of higher CO2 amounts means a higher global temperature, does this mean our global temperature is about to increase to higher levels than previously seen as well? What are the effects of global warming and climate change? If the temperatures of Earth increase, ice in glaciers and the polar regions will melt more than normal. Seasonally, ice melts, for example in the summer months, but the amount of ice that is melting is increasing, and less ice is then freezing over during winter, meaning there is less ice overall in the polar regions. Melting ice will increase the sea levels, 
This means that communities and habitats at low levels may become permanently flooded. There are certain island-based countries that may become permanently flooded. Areas on Earth may become significantly hotter. This means that organisms will no longer be able to live there in the same way. Organisms are highly adapted to their habitats. If a habitat changes, a species may not survive. This could affect the associated food webs in a habitat. For example, if the plant producing seed for this bird can no longer grow well, the bird may struggle to survive. And if there are less of that bird, predators that depend on that bird may suffer too. There could be wide ramifications to damage to food webs due to global warming. Why is global warming happening? Our planet receives large amounts of solar radiation that heats and lights us from the sun. Sunlight naturally reflects off of the Earth. This removes a lot of energy. However, CO2 in the atmosphere absorbs sunlight. If there is more CO2, more energy will be absorbed. This absorbed energy stays on Earth as heat energy. The CO2 is like insulation, keeping the Earth warmer by preventing some of the sun's heat from escaping. Over time, this increase in heat from the sun can cause global warming, an overall increase in the temperature of climates over time. In summary of this, global warming is an example of climate change. CO2 contributes to global warming as it is a greenhouse gas. As a greenhouse gas, CO2 completes the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is particles absorbing the sun's heat in the atmosphere, making the earth warmer. It's not only carbon dioxide that is contributing to global warming. Methane, CH4, is another greenhouse gas. This means it can absorb solar energy in the atmosphere. It is produced by some industrial processes, such as drilling for oil, and is produced naturally by cows' digestion processes. Cows are farmed across the world for the meat and dairy industries. The number of cows in the world makes an impact on global warming because of the amount of the methane they produce. The release of methane, CH4, contributes to global warming. So what can be done to prevent global warming and climate change? Burning fuel releases CO2, so this must be reduced, for example, by using electric cars instead of petrol ones. Air travel is one of the most polluting industries. Large amounts of CO2 are released by burning the large amounts of fuel needed to fly. Flying less is a difficult topic. Do people wish to not travel for holidays, to see family or for work? Currently, a great deal of the world's electrical energy is produced through the burning of fossil fuels. These processes release large amounts of carbon dioxide. By using more renewable sources of energy, such as wind and solar, we will be able to reduce carbon emissions. Perhaps the best chance to prevent global warming may come down to you. Future scientists may need to invent new technologies that will be able to reduce the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Other technologies may be needed to fix some of the results of global warming. We could well be entering a new era of unknowns. In summary, carbon dioxide, CO2, is released as a product from combustion chemical reactions. CO2 builds up and causes global warming as it completes the greenhouse effect. Methane, CH4, also contributes to global warming as a greenhouse gas. The effects of global warming include an increase in average world temperatures, ice stores melting, sea levels rising, habitats being damaged, and organisms no longer being suited to their environments. Greenhouse gases building up in the atmosphere cause global warming by preventing the normal amount of light and heat from reflecting off of the Earth's surface. The gases absorb solar energy on Earth. This is the greenhouse effect. To reduce climate change, we should burn fewer fossil fuels, use electric cars, reduce the number of flights made, and reduce factory pollutants. New technology may be needed to be invented to prevent further climate change or repair damage it causes. And our keywords. Carbon dioxide, CO2, a chemical compound produced as a product of the combustion of fossil fuels. It is a greenhouse gas. Global warming, an increase in the temperature of a climate over time. Climate change, changes to the average weather conditions in an area over a long period of time. Greenhouse effect, when gases in the atmosphere trap extra heat from the sun rather than its reflection off of Earth's surface, heating the Earth. 
Greenhouse gas, a gas in the atmosphere that causes global warming by preventing sunlight reflection off of Earth. Methane, a greenhouse gas produced by industry and as a waste product from cow's digestion. This compound can be used as a fuel 